And welcome back to the Integrated Media Center here on the campus of Geneva College. I'm Chris Matthews, the Sports Information Director, and today we are joined by the Geneva Men's Student Athlete of the Week, R.J. Bell. He had a big day at Grove City, or at home against Grove City on Saturday. Five threes, I think, in the second half, which I think that was one off your career high. So well done on that. We appreciate you stopping by here for just a minute. Tell us how you ended up picking Geneva College. Um, well, I was recruited um, my senior year in high school by the coaching staff and came on a visit, came to a few games, and just fell in love with the campus, fell in love with the atmosphere, so I decided to come here. Yeah, so what do you remember about Saturday's game? You come off the bench, second half, you hit the first one, I assume maybe after two, or you start to feel like, okay, I'm, I'm on today, or maybe you knew that ahead of time? Yeah, or? well, I didn't actually shoot a shot in the first half, because it was just, I just didn't get a look, yeah. really, and they were kind of right. like all over me. And then the second half, got a couple of looks, made one or two, and then I think everybody started to realize it, so they're trying to get me the ball, and. Amos and Isaac did a good job getting me the ball and I don't know just after two or three I yeah like you said I was kind of in a rhythm and just feeling it yeah I was surprised they didn't get up on you a little more I thought yeah. after two three especially the out of bounds one where yeah. you kind of stepped back there was yeah. nobody close yeah, to that you, was so. probably the most open one the fifth one yeah for sure now yeah. you your dad was your high school coach was, right yeah. so you grew up around basketball and I think you retired here just recently so that he could in large part keep an eye on you a little more closely over the last two years. So what was that growing up? I assume basketball was a big part of your upbringing. Yeah, ever since I can remember, I was in the gym, like just going to yeah. the practices, going to the games. And then when I played for him in high school, obviously, like, you know, we got extra gym time and stuff, yeah. me and him. And uh, last year he decided to, you know, step away to watch me play more. So it's been great. He's been at every game. They actually came down to Florida when we went oh, out to yeah. Florida. So, yeah, I mean, it's been it's been great this year, him being at every game. Gotcha. So you guys are most of the way through the regular season. I think you got four games left or yep, so. Four. You'd you'd won five in a row before the Grove City game. So kind of what's what's the expectation here? The final four games heading into postseason. Um, Coach Tennessee just keeps talking about like we want to host a playoff game. Yeah. Um, so right, right now I think we're in fifth place. So we got to yeah. bump up to the fourth place spot. Um, so just try to you know win out if we can and yeah. get as high as we can because we want to you know try to win the pack championship. Sure. And go through go through home, our home court. Sure. So when you're not playing basketball, which obviously takes up a lot of time as well as academics, when you're not doing one of those two things, what do you enjoy doing? Um, probably just hanging out with my teammates. Yeah. We're, this is probably the, one of the closest teams I've ever been on. Like yeah. we're all we're all like best friends. So just hanging out with them, playing video games with them, just doing different stuff. Yeah. And so and how is academics going? Because we're three or four weeks into the semester now, five weeks up like that. So I assume you're probably to the point where maybe you've had a test or two already. Yeah. And it's going good so far. Um, a lot of my classes are earlier this semester. Last okay. semester I didn't start till eleven. So that was kind of nice, but yeah, yeah, going going pretty well so far. How many credit hours you take? I'm taking um, 16. 16. All right, yeah. so that's a pretty solid load. All yeah. right, final four time. You ready? Four questions. Give me the first thing that comes to mind. Favorite drink at Alex's? Do you have one you always green like? Green tea. Well, green for sure. Tea? Yeah, wow, I haven't heard that. Absolutely. One yep. Nice. Do you have a favorite NBA team that you follow? Um, I'm more. I follow players more than teams. Okay. So probably wherever LeBron goes, okay. I follow him. So the Lakers right now. The Lakers right yeah. now. Yeah. All right. So you had 15 on Saturday, which was one off your career high. Do you remember who you had 16 against in your I career? do. Heidelberg. Heidelberg. All right, nice. Yes. And then lastly, what is RJ? I assume RJ stands for something. Uh, Richard James. Richard James. Is it, did your mom or dad call you Richard no, James? No, they both call me RJ. Pretty much been called since RJ birth, since yep. Wow, nice. Yep. All right. Well, again, good game on Saturday. Thank you guys you. got Westminster tonight, right? Yep. So that'll be a tough match heading up that way, but we're looking forward to it. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. All right, that will do it for this edition of the Student Athlete of the Week. I'm Chris Matthews, joined today by R.J. Bell. Until next time, storm on.